Hello, Hector, wherever you are. I hope you're so much safe. Surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, and do me a favor. Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share, like to share, and please hit subscribe. And turn that notification bell on to all, so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It is not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom up, but with all of my heart, ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. And to everybody who has been, thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. All right, God bless guys. Um, I apologize. I've been busy today, so that's why it was like that last reading that came out late. Oh, okay. Last judgment, ten of pentacles. Okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. somebody could have stole um inheritance from you possibly, and this is the last judgment. Okay, this might even be like a final ruling possibly in a court in a court procedure or whatever. Or maybe somebody tried to steal this shit from you, and it's a way it's like, this is the final, it's a final countdown. <laughs> it's, it's a, uh, they, you know, maybe they're making it right, or they refuse to, so God's throwing his hands up and saying, alright, y'all going down, down, baby, okay? And you are creating your own generational wealth with whatever you got going on as well. Okay? And if you take that 20 right here, this judgment card is number 20, right? And is this, and if you look, it says the last judgment, okay? If you divide that in half, that's 10-10, right? If you split it in half and then take the two tens, it's 10 tens, completion's end of a cycle. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, loved ones have passed away. Yeah, someone's going to prison, okay? They stole your inheritance. They're in a mental prison about this as well. They're in a mental prison about, um, you know, what the fuck they did wrong and how they're going to now have to deal with their, um, con the consequences of their actions and also about you also creating your own generational wealth, but they're going to physical prison for what they have done to you. Somebody could be trying to do some sort of binding magic on you. It ain't working. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Guys, please, all right, just a reminder, make sure you're always protecting yourself before getting a reading done or watching any readings, okay? Protect yourself and protect your energy. Um, ever since that, re that came out in the reading, like the download that I got yesterday, just want to remind you guys, make sure you're doing that, okay? Knight of Swords, yeah. This is authority it's coming rushing in to protect you. Thor's about to be getting kicked in, yeah. Y'all going the fuck down, finally. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, God. And thank you to the authority figures that are bringing these corrupt people down. Okay, yeah, they're coming rushing in to protect you, okay, sweetheart? Don't worry, you're getting what's yours. It's coming in, it's coming in. And it was funny because I was just out. I was just out, and it was like, it just started pouring down raining. Like, pouring down out of nowhere. And then it just, it was real quick, though. So I feel like it's like a, it's going to be a real quick, like, you know, um, this kick down or whatever this is. It's going to be a huge storm, but it's going to be, you know, um... Also, maybe possibly even the, the procedure, like the whole court procedure and all that stuff, like the trial, it might be a big, it might be a big, um, storm, but it's worth the wait, and, but like it's going to be quick, it's not going to be that long, I feel like, because like, again, like that storm, we had a thunderstorm that just came through, my hair's still like wet, I just got it, <laughs> my shoes are probably, my shoesies are probably still wet, no they're not, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, the Ancestors, and the ones that passed away. What is the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. It's the final countdown. Thank you. The world. Completion, end of a cycle. They're watching you online. They're being watched, watching you, stalking you, creeping on you. They could be watching you online, or it's completion, it's the end of a cycle from them spying on you, okay? Because they're being watched by the authorities. Someone's name can begin with an F. There's a K, O, and a P, and an L right here. Somebody could be on opiates. Opiates are like Percocets, Vicodins, uh, you know... Oxycontins, heroin, fentanyl. There's something about a signature that they're trying to hide. They could have stole your, they could have stole your identity and like forged your name. Obviously, quite clearly, to steal this inheritance. But it's the completion, the end of a cycle. I'm also getting that what if you could be doing something online, um, that's you're creating your own generational wealth, and they're watching you, whatever this is, okay, whatever you're doing online. 
somebody might be trying to flee, but they're not gonna, they're gonna be able to get, um, that could be someone's nickname is flee. They're gonna get, uh, they crossed the line, look at this. See this line is sticking out to me, I never noticed that before. In the wall, they crossed, they crossed the line by doing, like, stalking you over, over obsessively stalking you, watching you, creeping on you, um, invading your privacy, your, and your, you know, they're, they're They're just douchebags, okay? <laughs> they're being watched doing a see though. As they were too busy hyper focusing on you and what you got going on, spying on you, they didn't realize that they had the heat on them being watched, you know, watching them. Yeah, they can try to run all they want, but they can't because the authorities are there. Yeah, it could be a King of Cups in the reverse, possibly. It could be an ex of yours. Or and I'm also getting you have a divine counterpart possibly. That's spying on you, like, but not in a good, not in a bad way, it's in a good way, like, they're watching you, not in, they're not creeping on you, they're just, they're watching it, maybe online, they might see you on social media, but the authorities are watching you too, okay, they're in your devices as well, but it's like, you know, they're protecting you, and they see that you're a very loving, nurturing, caring, divine being, somebody could wear fedoras, somebody could dress very nice, like, in, you know, tuxedos or suits or something like that. They're also watching you online, whether it be if you have a, um, a platform or social media, and they see all the love and attention that you get. They're very jealous and envious of this, the karmic people. You're going to get some sort of quick communication about these people that were smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back. You're getting a solid love offer coming in. Be, get, be ready to be, and open and willing to receive this love offer because it's coming in. It's a solid love offer. You're rapidly progressing as well, but you're going to get some sort of quick communication about um, somebody, these people that were smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back. And if you notice, like she's in like a fetal position, right? Yeah, now they're all like boohoo crying. When they were purposely putting you in this kind of position, they all laughed and thought it was funny. They celebrated that shit. Keep that same energy because now y'all are in that energy. How's it feel? Knock it off. Okay, somebody, some about a park, or they could be, someone could stay at, like, a, um, a campground or something. Some about a campground or a park. There's also something about somebody has mold in their house. It could have been affecting somebody's health or breathing. You need to cut the cords, possibly. I see a scissors right here. You might want to need to cut cords, okay? Or it's somebody that you cut the cords from, okay? And because you did this, alright, you're getting a solid level for coming in. Somebody could ride motorcycles or dirt bikes. This is a dirt bike right here. Um, or like BMX bikes or, um, you know, mountain bikes or some shit. Yeah, you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? They're watching you online, seeing you get ultimate wish fulfillment. Your dream's coming true. And this solid love offer you have coming in is your ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? If this is like a very high-level soulmate, it's your forever after. Or if you resonate with the twin flames, it's going to be your actual true twin flame, okay? But your dreams are coming true, my darling, as they're over here in a fetal position crying and shit. And it's coming in quick. Your, your, your love offer, your dream's coming true. It's something that you've been praying for for a long time. And your divine counterpart, whoever this is that's watching you um, online, they see you as their happily ever after, that their, their ultimate wish fulfillment, because you are, and they're your ultimate wish fulfillment. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, wow, well, look, see? It's the cups. What did I just say? Cups going to be overflowing with love, my darling. You're going to have a huge smile on your face. Somebody's going to have a nose piercing. You're very beautiful, very charming. You get the attention everywhere you go. Somebody's sweating over you. Um, somebody's sweating over you. Like, the fact that you have all this love coming in your way. Okay? You're with your cup overflowing with love. And with also your divine counterpart coming in. Your ultimate wishes, like, being fulfilled. They see you rapidly. They're watching you. These, these, uh... Your divine counterpart. They're... they're they also they do too. Your divine counterparts watching you, and also these people, the the people that were smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back. They're also watching you too. They're watching you, seeing you rapidly improve, 
okay you rapidly progressing you um to your ultimate wish fulfillment you know in, in whatever you're working on or whatever you're doing in your life and also like you know they know that your person's going to be coming in that you're going to get in some sort of quick communication about this and there's no stopping it and it's protected you're heavily protected you know um with the seven of wands here keep your guard up from any of these people from your past okay and this is why this is coming in too because you learned boundaries okay you learn to cut the right people off you learn to put your your sword up and not allow you to guard yourself okay with the seven of wands and somebody wears suits okay i don't know if this is you or somebody um or maybe you might be i don't know why i'm getting this you might be um being offered to go go out somewhere where you have to dress up nice where you dress up nice like but here's a guy and a girl right here it's like you know what i mean and it's like, you look at your faces, super, like, happy, smiling. You know what I mean? But keep your guard up from these douche douche magushes, okay? And, be, and because you have done that, you've been cutting all the right people off and the right things off in your life that no longer serves you for your highest and greatest good. Um, and you've been keeping your guard up, okay? And maybe somebody's, um... I don't know, never mind, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, the world. It's completely just the end of a cycle. Well, this is why it's all coming in, okay? They're planning their whole new future with you, okay? They see you as their their wish fulfillment. You're, you're also, they're seeing, they're watching you, seeing you play in your whole world, okay? Um, they, and also your divine counterpart sees your vision, what you got, what like whatever you're working on. They like it. They know your ships are coming in, rapidly coming in. And this is also in like, you know, your your union, uh, and also whatever you're planning on whatever you're working on whatever your vision is um because it's completion at the end of a cycle and whatever you're doing online you're about to have some like major glow up or uh whatever this is you might be traveling the world possibly as well holy spirit divine spirit angels ancestors and loved ones that pass away Four of Cups, yeah, your days of losing out on opportunities are over with, okay? You're not losing out on opportunities no more. These people have done enough to you. Yeah, all your hard work's paying off, okay? You're coming into union. There's that Two of Cups right there. Yeah, you're not losing out. They don't want to lose out on you either because they know if they wait too long that, you know, somebody's going to come scoop you up, okay? You're, you're a high commodity, okay, darling? You are beautiful. You are handsome. You're going to get a message of enlightenment, okay? They see you as their their trophy, uh, not in a negative way, but like you're just very beautiful. Okay, they they want to take you home with them. Yeah, you're not losing out on any more opportunities. Absolutely not. Your ships are coming in. Whatever these douchebags are responding in your face, stabbing you in the back. These people from your past, they're not coming back. Okay, they were trying to come back in. You said no, no, no. Okay, good job. And because you said no, is why you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment. You need to learn those lessons. God just had to like test you. This is why God allowed these idiots to to try to um, you know, come in and and uh, what do you call it? You know, try to 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 tempt you. Okay, to see if you would take that bait again. And you said no. You kept your guard up. And because you said no, you kept your guard up. And you're proving that you are completely and utterly done with these people. Is why you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment. And they're only coming back in anyway because they see you getting your wish fulfillment. All right, and they're losing out because now you're out of the way. So karma's coming in and whooping their ass for how they treated you and other people. You are walking karma. You serve karma to people, okay? And because of however they, de they decide to treat you, if they want to treat you like shit, they're going to get, you know, or if they treat you good, then they're going to get good karma, all right? And now, some about a four wands in the reverse. Now, they, these people from your past, now, these people over here that were trying to come back, they have no solid foundation. Their world has come falling apart. Somebody could have got kicked out of a house. It might not have even been theirs. It could have been your house from that inheritance we've seen. Their house is not protected. They're not protected. You are... All these illusions, all the lies, the betrayals, the bullshit, you know, that they've done. They were being watched, whatever they were planning on doing. All the spells, hexes, curses, voodoo, hoodoo, witchcraft, stupid shit has been watched. And it's all returning to sender, okay? How whatever their plans were to come up to, to steal what you got going on. And, you know, all your hard work is now paying off. Continue working hard. And because of your hard work and your dedication... Is why you're rapidly progressing and your ships are coming in and you're coming into union with your divine counterpart. There is no stopping this. There is no blocking this. Nobody can take this. They know you are their person and they, you know, they are your person. They don't want to lose out on this opportunity. They were, they found out that people were smiling and, 
in their face and stabbing them in the back because they didn't want you to come into union they know this now 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 they're going to give reach out to you eventually and give you a message of enlightenment or they got the message of enlightenment and found out like what was i thinking these people were just douchebags trying to hold you know they were just trying to hold you know their blessing back confirmation because you're their blessing and they are your blessing okay you are both learning a lot of lessons um and taking like you know very uh you, um in the right way you know what i mean These are like not making um, the same mistakes, okay? Holy Spirit, Nine of Wands, you made it through whatever they were, they were planning to send you some sort of psychic attack or physical, mental, emotional, and or spiritual, all of the above, ass whooping, right? But you took all these ass whoopings like a G, like a whole spiritual G, and you kept it moving, all right? Now they're side eyeing you. See that face? Look at that face. Somebody mad or no? Somebody's mad. Now, these people from your past are looking at you like, oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this hating asshole. Look at this hating asshole. Like, are you kidding me? This could be your bitch ass ex. All like me mugging you, like, oh, look at that face. Like, you bitch. No matter what I did, I couldn't stop it. Yeah, you stupid fucking loser. Go, go straight to hell, okay? These people from your past, all side eye and mad because they, because all their lies, all the illusions, you know, how hard they work to keep you apart from each other, it's all come, you know, it's all come to an end because you've both learned. You know, all, you know, from your lesson, all the lessons, you're not making, um, past mistakes, okay? You're upgrading your life, you're, you're doing the right things now, and there's, you're starting to actually go inward and listen to your inner guidance and, and pray more and ask God and, and taking your guidance as well, instead of letting these hating ass people from your past micromanage your life and tell you what to do with your life. What the fuck? How old are we? You go fuck yourselves, okay? That's not happening. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Now they're going through physical, mental, emotional, and or spiritual ass weapons because everything they sent out to you is now coming back. How they treated you is karma. It's the year of karma. Okay, people know stop with the bullshit. This is a very stupid time for people to be doing stupid shit. Unless you have a 5150 mission, like unless you're planning to take yourself and try to self-delete because that's all you're doing. Knock it off. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. It could be a Queen of Pentacles, possibly. Some, you know, that's that's getting her ass beat. Or you are, because you, I feel like this is you. I feel like because you took all these ass whoopings, you know, like a whole spiritual G, you learned from them, you didn't let them, like, hold you down. You grew from them instead of letting them hold you down. It's going to now. And you stayed in your sovereign power, okay? While these douchebags were out here. The hell is that? Oh, Crystal. It's, um, selenite. Okay, so see this piece of selenite that's sitting here on this Eight of Pentacles? Something got cleansed away. There, somebody sent you some sort of see that piece of sel selenite right there? Selenite's um, good for cleansing, okay? Something got cleansed away. Whatever they tried to, whatever attack they tried to send to your work, whatever you're working on has been cleansed. I'm going to keep that there. Okay, now it's coming in. It just fell onto the Three of Wands. Because you cleansed away whatever this, 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 this attack was, it was with the multiple attacks, is why your ships are coming in too. And, and while you are doing, while that attack happened, or these, these attacks, actually, these attacks happened to you, you stood in your power, you, you stayed faithful, you knew, you know, you did everything in the upright, and you trusted in God, okay? And you cleansed away whatever this negative energy that was sent to you in your work away. And because you did that, now your ships are coming in, okay? Your trust and your faith in God is what gets you through everything, okay? You're um, really mastering yourself and your emotions. Good job, collective. And they're in like a they're they're in like a mental ass whooping right now and spiritual ass whooping before doing a physical, mental, emotional, and/or spiritual ass whooping or all the above for all the attacks they sent out to you. And and they're in like a mental prison and shit about you getting your wish fulfillment. They're like kicking their own asses at this point because they're realizing, damn, they're watching you, seeing you get your wishes fulfilled, and they're wishing that they were on your side because they know the type of person you are you're a very loving nurturing caring divine being that you know loves to nurture people you love to to help people and they're thinking damn man because now they're going through their ass whooping like their, their karma right 
they're going through this bad karma where everything's being taken from them because it's everything they were putting out into this world. It's the year of karma. What you put out is what you get. So they've been putting out all this negative energy while you, darling, even while all this negative energy was coming towards you, you still stay so divine, so loving, so nurturing, so caring, and so faithful, right? So now that's what you're attracting, okay? You're you're attracting everything that you've been putting out while they're attracting everything they've been putting out, all right? Because they came up against a divine being too, stupid fucking beings, all right? Simpletons, simple, simple, simpletons. And now they're freaking out because they know it's whatever they sent to you that has been cleansed away from you and your work and everything else. And now they're going through it and they're wishing that they were on your side because if they were on your side, like if you have it, they would have it. Now they ain't having shit, okay? But an ass whooping and go into prison for what they've done and whatever this is is putting you into this queen of pentacle energy so keep showing up and do not lose hope do not lose faith okay and just know that god has your back like a fucking brow strap okay somebody's foundation is crumbling these people from your past because it was built off of false foundations it was built off of stealing from you and other people and attacking other people like fuck out of here Again, guys, make sure you are protecting your energy, okay, and your power. Anytime you you go anywhere, is when or if you're around anybody, and before and after you leave anybody, um, before and after you go out anywhere, okay, and before and after watching a fucking reading, okay. I don't care if it's a collective reading. I don't care what it is. It's just I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right. And just so you know, even though you don't see me do it, because it just it usually takes me about like a half an hour before every single reading to do the whole prep that I do before before each reading to, to protect myself and to protect you. Um, I you know before every reading, I, I make sure I do that too, so to protect myself and for to protect you guys as well. I just don't record it because it's like it just you know what I mean. It just takes you know I'm not gonna waste a half an hour of your time every reading. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a completion. It's the end of a cycle. Okay, of these idiots. It's the end of a cycle of you being in lack or having like I mean, not having a solid foundation. You're about to have this huge, huge, very secure and solid foundation. So it's very important for you to continue to keep showing up like you are. All right. Thank you. You're coming into union. You are a star, my darling. Because you healed. The star card also talks about healing. You could be famous or about to be famous. Your divine counterpart could possibly be famous. The, uh, the wolf. I said the wolf. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the wolf. Yeah, you are. You're, you're like the, the lone wolf. They thought they, thought they were going to throw you into um, a pit of wolves, right? Thinking that they were going to devour you. You end up leave, um, leaving, not only leading the fucking pack, but wearing the wolf itself. Skinning the wolf and wearing it. Okay. And, yeah, because you took a leap of faith. Your divine counterpart's coming to take a leap of faith with you because you're in your fucking purpose and you're doing everything right. Keep going, Collective. You're doing amazing. These people are, that were smiling in your face, stabbing your back, they're all in grief, pain, and sorrow, agony, okay? I feel like this one's supposed to go first because this one came out first, yeah. You're coming into union. They're choosing you. The love also talks about a choice. You made the right choices, okay? And you're, you're see how this even knocked over? You're... The, the, uh, it could be your ex that's getting this ass whooping. Well, it's everybody. It's, these, it's your ex and these people from your past, okay? Anybody that came up against you, they're all, you know. Um, but your person is now choosing to pick you, okay? And they lost out on, on their foundations all crumbling because of the choices that they made. They chose to be dickheads, okay? You're coming into union, and, um, and it's protected. It's heavily protected, your house is protected as well. And these douchebags are responding in your face, stabbing you in the back, are in grief, pain, and sorrow. They're watching you in grief, pain, sorrow, agony, watching you rapidly progress, okay? Watching what you got going on, seeing all these opportunities you have your way. And um, and they know your ships are coming in, and they're not part of it. That's their fault, not yours, okay? And they know you're coming into union with your divine counterpart, and they're butthurt about that. They know you are a star, Okay, they could have been trying to freeze you, put, doing freezer spells on you, but God turned those lights on. But you found the light, right? You found, you know, you stayed with in your face. So God warmed up all that snow, all that, you know, the, the um, 
then warmed you up so that, yeah, that's not happening. Get out of here, you fucking loser. Be mindful, though, because you're about to get some sort of major public recognition that it could give you, make you famous, okay? But, um, your divine counterpart could possibly already be famous, so just be aware, okay? You're gonna have people, of course, falling in your face, having you back, but you already know. Use your discernment. Ask God who you can trust, and when you do that, you'll see the man is falling one after another, just, you know? And because I feel like your, your person's famous. For whoever this reading is for, I feel like your person's famous. Or you are. or uh, And I feel like you're both about to be, if you're not already. Yeah, I've seen the three ones. You're about to be famous. It's coming in. And this, this is all happening because you healed and you found the light. Or you stayed in the light is what I'm getting. Even when, like, even your darkest, coldest times... You still found, always had that light. You never let that light die out on you, right? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And you're in your purpose. You took a leap of faith. and you're, Or you're about to take a leap of faith. And that's going to be a major leap of faith. That's going to put you into the star energy where you, you already are in star energy. But like, it's going to make you famous, okay? Living on the edge. I feel like, yeah, your divine counterparts, they're choosing you. They're choosing to take the sleep of faith, come in, come into union with you, and come. And it could happen from your purpose, whatever you're doing. You could be doing something online, which I'm strongly getting you're doing. I feel like you're doing something online, whether it's social media, if it's a platform, um, and whatever you're doing, you're about to go viral or something, possibly, and you're about to come, like, become famous, okay? And if you didn't take that leap of faith yet, what are you waiting for? Do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Be like Nike and just do it. And anybody that's wishing ill on you or evil eyeing you, all evil eyes go blind and it's all going right back to them. Hating assholes. Okay? Stop hating. Stop hating. Stop being a hating asshole. And your wishes are being great. Thank you. Yeah. They try to steal your stardom. Okay? They try to do some sort of destiny swap. Knock that shit off. They try to steal from you. They're side eyeing you because they can't steal shit because it was written in the stars for you. Fuck out of here. If you were from your past and your bitch ass ex, 7-7. Seven, seven. And their foundation fell apart because they stole it. It was never theirs to begin with. Now they're hella nervous, right? And your divine counterpart found out that these people from their past and their friends or their family, whoever, their ex was deceiving them the whole time. Now they know the truth. Now they want to take a leap of faith with you and they want to come into union because they don't want to lose this chance. They know you're a hot commodity. They see you that, and you're a very rare gem. Okay? You're a very rare gem and they don't want someone's name could be, um, could be, uh, what do you call it, Jamie? Someone's name could be, um, Joy. This could be yours. This could be somebody involved or a past or loved one that's speaking to and through me to and for you. All right? Now, they don't want to lose this opportunity because they know that if they wait too long, somebody's going to come scoop you up. Why wouldn't they? Hello? Of course they are. And they know, like, you know what I mean? They're like, shit, man, I need to go make my move before I lose my move, okay? Because you're the type of person, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're locked in with somebody, you're locked in. And... You're not a cheater. You're not, you know, you don't do that. You don't do any of that. You treat people the way you want to be treated. And if you don't want it done to you, you ain't going to do it to somebody else. All right? This could be, you know, this could be a twin flame. doesn't have to be. But if it's a twin flame, they're the same way. So they know that's, you know what I mean? They know that's going to, they, they know, you know what I mean? They know that they have to make a move, like, soon. Or else it's going to be too late. And they realize that these people are just trying to steal, you know, their blessings. Same with your your past people, okay? And they're mad because they can't deceive your partner no more, your person. They can't deceive them. Now, if you're already in union, this is what's going on with, like, you know, the people trying to deceive you to try to split you up, okay? So put the rules where they fit. Now they're fucking nervous because, now, if you're not in union yet, they're nervous because you're about to find everything out that these people have said about you, have done to you, and, you know, they're going to be deleted and, you know, from your guys' life permanently, or they already are. There, somebody's going to prison for a lot of people going to prison for what they're going to do. Guys, can we just like up? Please and thank you. Please hit the like button. Please and thank you. You're about to get a message. 
page of wands, okay? Keep your eyes on your goals, darling, because whatever your goals are, you're getting there, okay? And you know, whatever your goals are, you're rapidly progressing, and it's protected. Their goal was to come in and fucking get close to you, smile on your face, stab you in the back, and steal from you and deceive you. They sent... These people from your past sent your ex in to do that to you. And a lot of these people from your past were sent in from whoever this was that stole that inheritance from you. Or attempted to steal it from you. And yeah, so just just keep your, you know, your goals are going to, it's protecting and it's leading you to have a, a solid foundation, alright? So just keep showing up. Continue to make the right choices and stay in the light and doing everything in the upright and you're going to be Gucci, okay? Five of Wands, now they're all fighting with each other. Somebody could play football, or like football. Somebody could play college football, or somebody could have when they were in college, if they were high school football or something like that. Somebody could be a star quarterback. Yeah, okay, you've seen this card set that came in on the fence, right? This is, now, I set the attention on this card because it just shows you how to do, like, the... It's the, what the cards mean, but I set the intention for God stepped in. It's in God's hands when it comes in the upright, when it comes this way. When it comes in the reverse, it means the devil's stepping in and devil's collecting. This came on the fence, so it's just telling me God stepped in. It's in God's hands, and he's allowing the devil to step in and to collect some some people, okay? And these people that are, they know it too. They know it's coming in. They know the devil's coming to collect from all the illusions, all the magic, all the death magic, the spells, hexes, curses, voodoo, hoodoo, witchcraft, all right? That they've been doing to you, how how hard they work to unalive you. So God's allowing the devil to come in and to collect, and God stepping in on your behalf, you know, with all the illusions to clear up all the mess and the lies and the, the um the bullshit, and he dead to your your divine counterpart. All right, and you're gonna get some sort of quick communication about somebody passing away, Is it about the devil collecting a soul, or however many it could possibly be family, or could be people you consider to be family. All right. And I'm also getting, there's some sort of family issue somebody's going through. I don't know if it's with the children or something like that. You're going to get your, you know, that's going to be all cleared up as well. You're going to have your, like, happy home, happy family again. And also your divine counterparts looking at you as their happy home, happy family. They might even be thinking about having children with you. I don't know. Maybe, like, obviously not right away. But, like, they might be thinking, like, later on, like, you are their person. Somebody's name. Somebody's name could begin with a W. It kind of looks like a W a little bit. I mean, I don't even know, like that, sort of, like that. Or it could be an M. <sighs> you might be taking a break, going on, like, going, taking a vacation, going to the beach or some shit, I don't know. You might end up having two children with your person. Two girls, possibly. It looks like two girls, right? Yeah, they're in dresses. I don't know. There might be a beach house that was left to you. I don't know where I just got that one, but you might, you might have like a beach house that was left to you, so, or a house by a beach, and somebody tried to steal this shit from you, you're getting it back. But I'm also getting with this water here in the beach. Like, in your family, like I said, that family issues that you're having is being cleansed out, it's being healed, alright? Because God's stepping in, and, you know, God's clearing everything up for you, okay? And your family, whatever's going on with your family, okay? Healing family, you know, and that's another thing, you healed a lot of family wounds, and, um, uh, you broke a lot of, like, generational, um, curses, so, of course, like, you know, you have a lot of spiritual gifts, too, you have a lot of them, alright, and it's because you are trustworthy, you are the one that, you know, is out here breaking these generational curses, so, obviously, your family, your bloodline is going to pick you to be the holder of their gifts when they pass away, right, this is why you have so many gifts, because you, you are the chosen one, and, these people are like, they're jealous and envious of it, they're side-eyeing you for it. Um, uh, also, I'm getting somebody passed away in their family, that, and they thought somebody sacrificed this person. They thought that if they sacrificed them, they were going to get their gifts. It doesn't work like that, sweetheart. You're fucking dumb. Um, your family member hates you for what you did, okay? You're a scumbag. You aren't alive to me, piece of shit. You think they don't know that you did that? They know. Oh, they know. They sent me here to let you know. They know you did that. And you're deaf. Why would they give you, why would they give you their gifts? When you are the one that took them out and that is creating all these generational curses for your bloodline. You're fucking dumb. 
the collective God them gives, and they're watching you. They see, they can see their your family member that passed away. I don't know how long they passed away, um, but they see that person inside of you. They know that they're working through you, that you have their gifts. They live inside of you and not them. And they're jealous and envious of this. Yeah, the moon card. See how it's on the fence here? These people are the lies, the betrayals, the manipulation, all that bullshit that these idiots have, have done is coming is coming back in. God stepped in when it comes to you're, you're, They lied a lot to your divine counterpart. Now they're getting some sort of ass, the ass whooping too for this. Um, so they're like literally your your divine counterpart. This isn't for everybody, but this is for somebody. Somebody might be like your your person might whoop somebody's ass, or might be whooping someone's ass because of all the lies and the betrayals that they did. Okay, the moon card here, and what was done in the dark is now coming to light. You are a hidden star. Okay, you're a hidden gem. Like God hid you in plain sight. They know that um, possibly something's happening by the next full moon. Is coming in by or or something that they did on the full moon, some sort of moon magic. They know it's going to take their life. The devil's coming to collect because of um what they did around the full moon or by the next full moon or some shit like that. It could be your bitch ass ex. How hard they work to to betray you, to manipulate you, to lie to you, to, to and to have other people look at you in a dark light. Okay, but no, you are the light. You are the star. Okay, they try to make you look like you know. Um, they also, they're, they're keeping, they didn't tell you, your person didn't reach out to you yet, they're keeping it secret, and it's not because they don't love you, it's they're, they're healing their own wounds, apparently, um, that they're going through, and they're keeping it quiet, but they're coming in, they have a hidden love for you, okay, they don't want to lose out on this opportunity, because they will if they wait too long. Yeah, you are rapidly progressing, and they're going to prison for all the lies, the betrayals, the manipulation, all that bullshit that they've done. You are a hidden star, my darling. You have some sort of hidden um, he um, healing abilities that you're not fully tapped into, you're not fully aware of. Spend more time in meditation and you'll be able to activate them to discover them. Something that you are wishing for is coming in by the next full moon. Um, I'm not sure when the next one, when's the next full moon? The 23rd was this last one, so, hold on a second, let me see. When is the next full moon? Let me just check it out real quick. When is the next full moon the next full moon is will be on friday june 21st at 908 p.m so by june 21st 908 p.m possibly something is about to come in for you that you've been wishing for that you've been wanting something that's going to make you extremely happy maybe some sort of like healing or star like um abilities or something i don't know something's coming in you know, by the next full moon, that's what I'm trying to get. Something that you worked hard on. Maybe it's whatever you're working on. Something that you worked super hard for is coming in by, by the next full moon. Okay? Maybe something that you're working on. I don't know. I'm trying to get it. Maybe, I don't know. And your, your, your divine counterpart is secretly working hard to come forward, like, to, to, to come to you. Okay? Somebody also got locked up that you don't know about. And they're, you've been, you know, you're rapidly progressing and, um, you're being told the more you rapidly progress, just like, keep it to yourself and whatever you're doing, be quiet about it, okay? And this is what they're learning, too, because I feel like you both used to, like, go, you know, you get excited. It's a natural thing to do. You get excited, you start telling people what you got going on, and you both learned that lesson the hard way. Um, I mean, I'm, I do, too. Um, because you gotta learn to keep things to yourself until it's done, okay? Because when you let people know you think you trust them, you can find them, you find out that you can't trust these people, and they go ahead, if you let someone know, they go ahead and they stop it and block it for you, okay? Um, so you, you two are learning that lesson, and I feel like they talked about you. Maybe they came across your Facebook, your social media account, or if you have a, um, a platform, they came across it and was like, I feel like what happened was actually, I feel like they came across like your your social media first or something and they were like asking their friends like yo look at this person what do you think what do you think and they're like oh fuck no that's 
that's going to be, you know, that's going to be their, their forever after. Like, we can't have this. And either they, either they want to be with you or they want to be with your, your divine counterpart or they're just jealous and envious, all right? And they thought that if you were together that they would, you know, your person wouldn't be given so, like, be so given to them or something, which I don't understand why. Like, what the fuck? That's stupid. You're a fucking weirdo. And they right away started, um, you know, lying, making up all these lies and betrayals about you, a lot of them. And now they're, they found out the truth and they're learning to just keep it quiet. So they're work, they're, they're secretly working super hard to, um, to, to heal. I'm also getting with the star card to finish healing. All right. Whatever. Somebody's trying to freeze your healing, um, like so that you can't heal because they know that you have to heal before you can come together all right because especially if you're depending on who's on the higher vibration you have to be on the same vibration you know what i mean you have to be on the same vibration for god to allow you know they have to anyway like you know if i feel like this is yeah it's a divine being so like you have to be on the same vibration for you to be able to come in and that's what they're doing they're just keeping it quiet okay There's something about a car here. You could have had a car stolen from you or something. But yeah, they're they're rapidly progressing. Your divine counterpart is, but they're keeping it quiet. Okay, they they are doing some sort of rapid healing because somebody tried to stop this or trying to block it and freeze it. But <clears throat> you see, but um, God, God was like absolutely not. God warmed that that up. Okay, and is melting whatever they tried to freeze. Somebody's also doing like you know uppers. I feel like there's some sort of addictions here that they're healing in either you are or they are healing in silence. Okay, they're they're keeping it quiet because they found out that these people were purposely getting them to drink, smoke, or do any drugs to to keep them in a lower vibration so they can do these attacks to them. But now they learn that they discovered this and they're 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 doing it. In, in sight and they're keeping quiet about this and because maybe they took um they could even came across that reading that if they're watching you if these people are stalking you and they're in your devices then that means they're watching the same readings that you they're watching the reading you know what i mean they're watching the, the readings that you watch so if you saw that reading where i, where I told you is that somebody was trying to um your person like they were putting something they're putting like period blood or something in and doing stuff like you know in their alcohol i feel like it was and my advice was for the person to pretend like they're drinking but not really actually drink stay sober just make sure that they, they you know they're not withdrawing because they alcohol addiction i mean recovery is very important like it's very um it's very dangerous i mean all right it's very important to get sober from alcohol because you know how dangerous like to do it by the right steps because you can you can actually pass away from alcohol withdrawal um you actually really can end xanax withdrawal you can actually die from that withdrawal so I, my suggestion was for the person to just, you know, have enough in their system where they're not drunk, they're not wasted, they're not, they're just completely level, sober, and they're not deep, they're not getting shakes and stuff like that, but act like they're drunk, right? You know, put apple juice or something in their drink, or if they drink, like, liquor, act, if, they're, if they don't, you know, if they normally drink mixed drinks like Coke, like Jack and Coke, have just Coke and pretend like they have Jack and act like they're drunk and sit back and observe and watch the people, how they act, because, and they wait until your divine counterpart was drunk and they would take advantage of them and they're also putting stuff in his alcohol so maybe they took they seen that reading right they and they they took that advice and they seen it and they're so they're secretly they now they know what is happening and they're you're rapidly progressing these people or somebody got arrested though that you don't know about it's still held or even the other karmic people might not know about it all right and this person's telling on everybody Five of Pentacles. Somebody could be got, somebody secretly got kicked out from your past that you don't know. Could be either your ex or these karmic ass people from what they stole from you because they stole from you that somebody was deceiving you. They got kicked out and they're working super hard to try to get you kicked out of that inheritance. All right, and now you know what I mean. This could be your divine counterpart could have kicked out their person. Maybe they're only still together because they had kids together, possibly. And there was a child that was stolen from you, okay? You're getting that kid or children back, okay? It could be like, you know, what I mean by that is either they did get, like, either 
kidnapped your child, I pray that's not the case, or they, they um, abused their power to get your child. And yeah, the truth of that came out, alright? A fight could have broke out, okay, over children or something like that. Maybe a child wasn't even theirs. And somebody, if you're like, I don't know, something happened about a child or something, and a fight broke out, and somebody ended up getting kicked out, and it, but it turned into a physical altercation, and they got ended up getting kicked out. It was somebody that stole from you. I'm also getting to, the day one I got a while ago was, oh man, look at this, oh boy, like, what the fuck, oh my god, see that, it's freaking the way I was sitting, no wonder why my, my, my foot's falling asleep. <laughs> Alright, um... So the you had a neighbor somebody in the collective had a neighbor um their neighbors used to fight all the time they did everything they could to try to get you kicked out and then um what do you call it now you don't live there no more and they're 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 they was, they're so stupid to do that because they ended up with neighbors that called the cops on them all the time because they constantly fight and like the walls are real thin you can hear through the walls yeah well it was it wasn't even just it's a cop that's living next door to them. And they're getting all the information. So this is something that's hidden. Alright. It's a, the, they've been they found out that they've been hearing all the fucking um things that they're plotting and planning against you to steal from you. So that's also somebody also got arrested um for this. They were told to leave you alone. They got out so that they could set other people up and they are, but they're never mind, I'm not being told not to say nothing about that, alright? But also, there was a house that used to, somebody in the collective used to live at, they illegally kicked you out. They didn't take the right procedures to kick you out, um, and they, they did this so they could steal from you. You're getting your, your um, they're going to prison for that, and you're getting, you know, you might not get the items back, but they're going to have to pay you for everything that they did. They're going to prison for that shit. Ow. This could be your ex. I don't know if it's your ex that got into a fight. Maybe they found out their kid wasn't theirs. <sighs> or if it's somebody from your past, they got into a race. They, whatever, I don't know, somebody had to have stealing from you, deceiving you. This could even be your fucking neighbors, I don't know. But, um, if a huge fight broke out and they ended up, uh, it got physical and somebody got arrested. Something about a custody battle or something for somebody. I don't. That's obviously not them because it's not their child or something. Six of Pentacles. All right, you're getting a generous blessing, and you're going to be able to bless the pockets of other people. And again, going back to that people, that 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 landlord that kicked you out illegally, or that person, you know, it doesn't even, you know, that they illegally kicked you out. The outcome of that's going to be a huge blessing. Okay, they're going to have to pay for everything they did to you, plus like you know pain and suffering because they also are caught doing a lot of other illegal shit. Cameras in your house, there's a bunch of weird shit that they were doing to you, um, poisoning you. All right, they were they were doing a lot. Okay, I'm not going to tap all into it because I do want to get another reading out for you guys since I you know I it was a late start today. Ew, because I was busy, but. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones, the best way. Thank you. Painful permanent ending. You're getting good karma, solid love, I mean, solid, uh, I mean, uh, raise, promotion, six of swords. Yeah, you're moving away. Someone got kicked out, and maybe this is even your divine counterpart. Maybe they said they had enough. They left. They could have left in the middle of the night. Said, fuck this, I'm out of here, and moved away. You're about to move away. All right, possibly across the body of water. But they're running for the hills. They're like, fuck this. I don't want nothing to do with these, this person, with their ex. And they're coming forward to you. And you're also rapidly coming out of, um, you know, um, you're, you're coming out of rough waters in the smooth sailing. Keep going, okay? They're choosing you. They realize you are the right option. Your ex also, they're realizing, you know, they, 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 they also get found by... They'll realize they're reminiscing how they treat you, and they're with a crazy ass person. It's their it's their perfect match. It's you know this person is just like they are. They're, it's their karma. You know what I mean for how they treated you, and now they're they're really regretting what they did. They wish they would have took it all back because they're watching you, seeing you get ultimate wish fulfillment. How your life is all sweet, and they're reminiscing about when they were with you. How things like you are you didn't treat them. They feel like a prisoner in their own home, and you didn't treat them like that. You're not like a um. 
a, a control freak. You're not like, a, you know what I mean? You understand people's personal boundaries and personal space and that they need their own, like, alone time, right? You don't even question them when they go out and they do things um, because you're not their fucking mommy. You're not their daddy. You're not, they're not your dog. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? They're a human being and they are entitled to their own time um well this person that they're with is not like that at all and i'm strongly getting they could have tried to baby trap them and it wasn't their kid or something like that and they're really regretting what they've done and that part's happening too because they were trying to baby trap you all right so that's why they were getting baby trapped it's their karma uh, but oh well they're losing out that, that's their loss okay you're not going back there's no need to even focus on them because you're not looking back you're not going back there's no need you're only going um, forward and up from here, okay? And you're getting a raise, a promotion, a job offer, or or something here, okay? Or you already did, okay? You're about to because you you weathered the storm, you you stayed the course and you weathered the storm while they are attacking, doing all these attacks on your finances and on whatever you're working on, and you stood in your power, you cleansed that energy, and because you did that is why this is coming in, alright? Because God's stepping in because of God, everything is because of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, okay? And you're getting good walking good karma and they're getting bad karma wheel of fortune okay you have some sort of hidden wealth that you're unaware of okay or a hidden star talent that is bringing you um yeah they stole they stole some sort of wealth from you but it's a painful permanent ending it's that inheritance that they stole from you knock it off this is why they're attacking you and whatever you got going on i feel like you you don't have to have a platform but i feel like you do or they could have got you fired from jobs, okay? If you don't have a job right now. And this is why I keep talking about a platform. And if you don't have a job, there's no reason for you not to. If you're watching this right now. Because if you have a phone. that if you, All you need is a cell phone. With internet. And with a working camera. And where, you know, that records on your phone. It, it, it's, all you need is one device. Is, you know, your device. With, a, with that can record. Okay? And YouTube. As long as you can get on YouTube, if you're watching this video right now, you can get on YouTube. As long as your camera works, you can start a platform. It's all you need. It's all you need. And if you don't know where to start or how to do this, just start recording shit, whatever you, what are you into? What do you like? Do you like motorcycles? Start doing stuff about motorcycles. I don't know. Do you like fishing? Start like recording you fishing. Okay. It'll be healing. It'll be helping other people. Start speaking about what you've been through. You'll be helping people around the world be able to go through similar situations as you. Um, and if you really don't know what to do, all you got to do is record yourself. Like, you know, just start taking, you know, record yourself reacting to people um like accounts like whatever they what i mean people's posts there's really no excuse not to have a job if you have a food you see what i'm saying it'll work and it's and there's a bunch of wealth waiting for you to do this just do it you can um you can monetize anything okay you can you know you, the, the, just do it stop stop delaying your progress there's no reason for you not to i know and if you might have some sort of like camera fear like camera fight or whatever um low self-esteem or something like that but that's all ask god to lift that from you okay and he will you don't even have to show yourself okay you can even just do voiceovers on stuff okay or you can even have your you, there's there's so many things you can do now that there's no excuse okay if you don't want them to hear your voice if you don't want them to hear to see your face you can still do things where they have now voice like voiceovers where where the, you know it'll say things for you and all you need is one device okay and the internet and that is it so there's no excuse for you not to and you're just at this point you're making up excuses not to be rude but i'm just trying to help you get into your calling and do something to help you out sometimes we need to give so um we need to give hard you know uh tough love but you're the only one that's stepping in your way okay you're gonna thank me later you can be pissed off at me all you want now but you're gonna be thanking me later because i'm the one that's gonna be pushing you to do it just fucking do it and then you're gonna be thanking me later you don't have to but you will be okay ten of ten of swords it's a painful permanent ending to these douchebags because karma is coming in and spanking their asses, okay, and, and and taking down all their false foundations and giving you back what the enemy has stolen. Plus some, they got caught up. I got caught that card. What's the outcome, please? And thank you. You're getting justice. I know that's right. That's your outcome. You're getting justice. And in the justice system, like whatever this 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 procedure is, whatever your this court case, you're gonna have the best possible outcome. You're gonna get a fortune from your justice. 
Okay, because they stole a fortune from you. And you're going to get that back plus a lot more. It's the alcohol piece that you start. Yeah, it's an inheritance. They stole a fucking hell of a, lo a lot of money. It's an inheritance. <laughs> you're going to get a message about this. Somebody also now say, okay, so these idiots stole your inheritance, which they did. They stole it, right? And it was a lot. They thought that they wanted it, not you. Fuck them. They're stupid. Now, and if they if they were in it, in anybody's will in their their family or whatever situation is, they got kicked out because it's their karma for doing it to you. And I'm surely getting somebody um, from your past, possibly an ex. Somebody passed away. They thought they were going to be getting their inheritance, but they were written out of their will. And it's their karma for what they did to you because they stole your inheritance. You see what I'm saying? So why would God let them be blessed? No, God instead hardened the part of that person that they thought they were going to be in the will for. And they ended up giving it to like their kids. I feel like they gave it to their kids instead of them. It could be your bitch ass ex. I feel like, yeah, their family member passed away. And they thought they were going to get their, that this, it could be their mother, their father, their aunt, their uncle, their granny, their poppy, whatever. You know what I mean? Their mom, their pop up, whatever. Um, no, instead they they switched the will and, and gave it to their kids and then leave them a fucking penny. And it's their karma. And they weren't expecting that. They were not expecting that at all. Yeah, they're holding on to a fucking inheritance to you and they're trying to hold you back from creating your own generational wealth. And they're also like, okay, if they didn't get their hands on the inheritance and they thought that they were going to, but they were unable to do it, they were working super hard to try to hold you back from getting it. But 10, 10, it's the completion, it's the end of the cycle. It's not happening. It has, you're getting this back, all right? They, they can't do shit about this. They're a bunch of douchebags and they're now reaping what they have soon. And that's what they get. And if they had like a life insurance policy out on this person, right, where they thought that they were going to get it, they're going to be in prison before they get this life insurance policy. Because that's what they get, okay? It could have been a life insurance policy that was stolen from you as well. Or homeowners or something like that. I don't know. They had a, a life insurance policy out on you too. I feel like a lot of people had a life insurance policy out on you, which threw up red flags. Like, why the fuck are there so many life insurance policies out on one person? Let's like investigate this real quick. Like, you're bitch ass neighbors had a life insurance policy out on you like why the fuck would they have a, 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 a um why would they have a life insurance policy out on you that don't make sense something's really going on here and then they started investigating these people and they're like yo what oh i see what they're doing here i see what this organization's doing i see what this like group of people are doing whatever these douchebags are i see what they're doing let's take these idiots down and let's go bring this collective justice Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, always best way. Can we get some messages for the collective, please? And thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. All right. There's a lot of messages here for you guys. A lot of Angel and Jesus messages. I mixed these two decks together. These were two different decks that I mixed together. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength and is ex and as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to, um, give it to others as you are guided. Absolutely. Give and receive. Ask for help. If you need it, ask it. Okay? And God will be answering through other people. All right? Oh, wow, there's a lot here, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Someone's name could be Brian, I just heard. This could be your name, somebody involved. It could be a past on loved one. It's speaking to and through me, to and for you. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Watch and pray that you enter... In, you enter not into temptation. Matthew 26, 41. That's been coming out a lot lately. Somebody's trying to get you to go back to old ways. Pray on it. Don't don't give in to it, okay? Pray on it. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Somebody's definitely trying to get you back into doing um old behaviors. With God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Yes, absolutely. Matthew, give me someone's name. All right, Matthew 6, 33. Uh, seek, 
Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay? Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke 12, 32. Someone say it could be Luke, and you're about to get the keys to the kingdom. You're getting the kingdom. Just, you know, stay there and just know what's happening. And don't lose your faith. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Somebody's name could be John. Patrick could be someone's name. Somebody's nickname could be Knox. All right. Um, clean energy food. When you fuel your body with a healthy, full, organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiencies, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Yeah, eat healthy, eat, eat organic if you have the finances to, if you can, please. Then maybe that's with the temptations, okay? Maybe you, um, somebody's trying to get you to, they could be doing beauty spells on you or something like that, trying to get you to overeat or eat unhealthy. What the fuck? They're trying to smack your blessings out of your hands, like what? They're trying to steal from you, okay? Because they know that, like, you need, you take, yeah, they, whatever. All right, partnership. <laughs> Allow healthy, healthful, um, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needs, needed skills and resources. Okay, some sort of partnerships happening. This could be either your divine counterpart, or it could be a divine, um, uh, divinely guided, you know, uh, person that's going to just help you. It could be a friend, okay, that's coming in, a coworker. Okay, according to your faith, be be it unto you. Matthew nine twenty nine, September twenty ninth, be significant. All right, well done, thou uh, good and faithful servant. Matthew twenty five twenty one, could be significant. savings as you constantly save for your future your future is saved you do your future self a big favor as you constantly set aside uh present funds this is a part of your self-care and path to feeling uh, secure as you focus upon your life purpose start saving you might need to you might be moving you might want to save oh shit <laughs> see they keep trying to just knock your blessings out of your hands it's not happening i agree that name jesus blessed are they that Hear the word of God and keep it. Luke uh, 12, 28, November 28th can be significant. Somebody might be having a child. Somebody might be having a baby. There's a baby right there. I wish he's nothing but the absolute best. And you know, a healthy, um, beautiful pregnancy. I will not leave you com um, comfortless. I will come to you. John 14, 18. 14 or 18 can be significant. All right. Severe vows of poverty. Dear one, there is no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you have that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all eff uh, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. It kind of reminds me of a, a phoenix. Like, you're about to have, like, you're, you know, you're totally transforming your life. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew 5, 9. May 9th could be significant. Seek and you shall find. Matthew 7, 7. July 7th could be significant. Alright, I am... The good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John 10, 11. October 11th can be significant. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. Until next time, remember God loves you, so do I spread love, not hate always. And please not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. The utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation for all that they do in our lives. Because they're moving mountains for us and getting ready to rain down miracles. Alright?
Um, and please, if you did not hit that like button yet, please hit the like button, please hit share, and please hit subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to all, so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you'd like to donate, you do not have to, it's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. Um, all the information is in, you know, yeah, it's the information in the description box, my bad. <laughs> Down below, like <laughs> what? And thank you from the bottom of, but with all of my heart. Ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so, and to everybody who has been. Gracias, gracias. Um, may God bless your beautiful soul, temple. All right, adios, amigos. See you in a little bit. God bless. I'm doing another reading now.